You're not even vaping the video, man. You not you haven't vaped in the video at all. Shiitake mushrooms. Shimmy shimmy shanga. Shimmy shimmy coco puff. Shimmy shimmy yeah. It's a bit of a yum on some bar. Same fin. Hey! Hey! Wapa! Same bit of boom. Same man. Same bar. Shakaka. Shakaka. Um, excuse me. Your balls are showing. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. For some reason, I think of office every time I hear the word tuna. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here, so Sam be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. Let me tell you why I picked this up. It's not because of the name of the company. That has nothing to do with it. There's been a couple of reviewers that I've watched doing blogs and vlogs and what have you and talking about some of their devices that they've been using, and a lot of them are highlighting this. Now, I don't think SIG has gone out of their way to contact people and say, listen, use this device in some of your videos. Nothing like of what Smoin has done. And a lot of times when you see this on those videos, it's like, wow, that is a really nice presentation. The only issue I really have with SIG, honestly, straight up, out the jump, is the screen. It's got that whole V-Fang look to it and they haven't done anything to make it better. You would think that with all the feedback of all the people that have ever done reviews for their products that have noted, hey, listen, this, this is just ugly. They've fixed things. And they've sent me things that they've adjusted. For instance, the Sobra or the Cobra. I can't remember what it was. I think it's the Cobra. They basically made a silk rendition because I complained about how it looked. Now, whether or not they did that for me is, I, it really doesn't matter. The fact is that they sent it to me prior to them coming out. It might have been coincidental. That's probably what it was. But this, they make in two different variations. They have a stainless steel brushed version and then a gold version. And the gold is definitely not something that intrigued me in the slightest. This is called Shikra. I can't make this up. Shikra. Sort of like a shitty okra. For some reason I see that and I think of Shakira. When I went together well, I don't know. That's the only words I know to that whole song. For whatever reason, a lot of these companies that are coming out with kits are doing one of these numbers. They're making a box to house two separate boxes for two separate devices. I don't know why that is. I don't know what started that. I don't know why they continually do it because it doesn't really do much of anything. I think it's a much better presentation situation is when you open it up and it's got a really nice display. It's not like the boxes could be taken out and then used individually as retail. There, there's no way. There's nothing written on it aside from the batch date. So you can't even use that, but why are they doing this? I would really, really love to know. I feel like, what is that, Pandora's box? That might not be it. The thing with the Russian dolls, where you take the head off, and then you got another doll, you take that off, and then you got another one. Pandora's box, I think, is the one that, you don't do that, you're gonna open up Pandora's box. I think it's like a jack-in-the-box, but more of a serious thing. Like, once it pops, that's it, you're dead. Let's flip it. On the front of the box, you're gonna have the box mod, and then, of course, the tank that comes with this. And again, that is both in a separate entity box. Now, I did not open this up because I wanna show you how this comes. Of course, this is called the Shikra, and for whatever reason, that symbol right there reminds me of something. Ah, I'm not even gonna touch on that. I'm just saying that Mm -mm. Back side of the box, all the information in regards to what is included. Let me give that a freeze frame for you, zoom in. Input voltage is 8.4 volts, but output is 7.5. Mm, I would have been much happier with an 8 volt cutoff on the output, but I guess it is what it is. This whole package reminds me of like an old Nintendo 64 game. Warning right here, lots of other warnings. You'd be seeing a scratch and sniff. This is obviously going to be blueberry flavor and scented with a touch of PET bottle. This is the box that the tank comes in. You'll see that there are two little tamper-proof jammies on the bottom there. So let's just go ahead and open that up and I'll show you what's inside that box. Really pretty blue. sub -ohm tank. Looks like they did a little bit better with the design itself. I hope the coils got better. 
It's just been a big problem I've had with a lot of the SIG sub ohm tanks is I'm just not impressed with the coils whatsoever. Get a little warning on the side, just please keep your original receipt for whatever reason, I guess for warranty purposes. Inside the little straight replacement glass, you're going to get a peripheral pouch. It's gonna have some extra O-rings, a tank plate, and then an adapter. Now that adapter's in there in case if you wanna use a different coil, one that doesn't come with this. Now usually the problem I've been having with SIG and a lot of their coils is they just look very, very cheaply made. Whether that's the wire that they use on the inside or the actual metal of the coil itself. And it looks like that has not changed. This is a 0 0.25, 40 to 80 watts, and of course it is regular round on the inside. Now let's see if the coil changes. Nope, same thing again regular round so i'm not even gonna bother using this coil tank is a really nice blue it's got this lovely little grippy situation up here looks really good really cool drip tip everything about this just works but if you have this and you don't like the coils i would highly recommend using the baby beast coils that are compatible with it with that extra pin that's included inside of the peripheral bag and i know that there may be some people that are upset that i don't test it but i'm not going to test something that i've already tested previously you can get the mod we'll go over that shortly inside the box there's going to be another box which has a usb located on the inside of that which is going to be used to upgrade the firmware or charges again i never recommend anybody to charge this with a micro usb cable just take the batteries out and charge it that way on the bottom of the box you're going to get a user manual for the box mod a little qc pass jammy then you get a little warranty sliver i'm assuming what sig has done here is they still utilize the same chip that's in the v fang and the m fang i guess they just really really want to run with that and primarily the navigation and all the functions are controlled with this fire button on the side does seem to move a lot i would have been much happier if that was more stiffer I hate these little knobby things. It reminds me of metal nipples on my mod. Three little holes located on the outside of that for battery venting. Battery orientation is listed on the door itself, positive and negative. There is nothing down there on the bottom. Just go ahead and put the batteries in. You got negative and positive. There's no movement in the door whatsoever on a left to right motion. Push that down, spring load it, and snap it in. For what we could fit on the top of this, 30 millimeter, no problem. Very, very nice. No overhang whatsoever, goes right to the edge. Very well done, very well done. Maybe that's why a lot of people like this. No, sure as in hell, no, it's not the screen. To access the menu in this, you're gonna hold this button down and then it's gonna pop up mode, set, exit. If we go over to mode, you press it again, titanium, stainless steel, TFR, TCR, and then power, of course, we're gonna use power. Hit that again and then it's how it's going to hit, hard, normal, or soft. And I can't really tell what is lit up and neither can the camera, but that is normal. Click that again and now you're normal. To adjust the power, you just press up and you press it down. Now, if you do other things with this button is when things get a little strange. If you press it to the left and hold it, that's going to bring up the menu to where it's a quick access to where you could change how hard it hits. Put it back on normal. If you press it just to the left, it's gonna show the battery and their power, which is respective to each battery slot. Press it to the right, it's going to be the brightness of the screen and then once you have that selected what you want you press it again and now it just defaults back if you hold it to the right that's going to allow you to set the resistance a lot of different features for some very very minuscule things it's kind of like a dual function activity joystick really do not like it and then of course uh hold that down Go over here to set is going to be all your other features of the mod. GUI, graphic user interface, click that. You have the one that's on there now or this one. And we all know that one all so much. Vape time is how long you'll be able to hold down the button before it says, okay, that's enough. The lowest you could go is 10 seconds. Now, if you press down again, it just goes up to 20 seconds. So it does round robin. SIG, Shikra, Box Mod, or Starter Kit. Let's bring it back on top. Back on top with the Shiitake Blue Mushroom. And of course, there is a little bit of stainless steel reminiscence there okay let's be straight up this looks nice it reminds me of like a modern or retro grandfather clock i don't know probably because that big ass face i got this hair now i know it's hard to believe because when you look at me you don't see a lot of it especially here it's all missing and up here i get it i get this one nose hair that's coming out through my right my left nostril your right my left maybe not maybe uh, it doesn't matter it's wrapping around and it's going right. I don't know what this is called. The bottom part of your nose where the, that separates the nostrils and it's kind of tickling that. So every time I talk, it's like someone's got a feather underneath my nose. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
<laughs> this is an aesthetically pleasing mod. It's not until you hit the fire button and you see the screen, you're like, okay, that's gross. I'm not going to use the coil or the tank that came with this just because I've done that before. I've used plenty of Baby Beast coils and I've used plenty of SIGs. All I'm asking SIG is if you guys see this, which I'm sure you're going to start with the mesh. I get it that your coils are compatible with Baby Beast, that little extension tube. I get it. I understand. But you're the only company in China not making mesh. Any other company out there that's making any kind of sub ohm tank has some type of mesh. You're still rocking regular round. You got to let that go and let God know what I'm talking about. Maybe even some chicken wire fence. Okay, so let me just show you some vape production, even though it ain't got shit to do with anything. 0.19 at 79.5 watts. Here we go. Wow. See, now I don't know what that has to do with the mod, but... Someone says, hey, you're not even vaping the video, man! You not you haven't vaped in the video at all! You don't even vape, bro! You're a dual user! Smoking cigarettes! You know what smokes cigarettes? Your asshole. That's what smokes cigarettes. The way that this mod looks is fantastic. Without a doubt one of the top five best looking box mods to come out of China. The problem though is this blue that you see on the top and the bottom and obviously the sides and well the button sucks asshole. Uh, but other than that it's going to scratch very very easily. It's not real blue stainless steel. I know there's a couple people out there that might be a little let down but it's not real. No stainless steel is naturally blue like that unless of course you burn it and then even at that why are we even bothering? If SIG wants this to be really successful, what I would suggest is to change the display. The round isn't bad, it's just the, what it looks like is very, very, very dated. They can easily adjust that to make it look that much better and put it on par with the rest of the stuff that's on the market. Now, if SIG wants to be different and continue rolling that way, I'm sure there's going to be people that are going to support the way that that looks. It's just that that's something I would really focus fire on and changing because I think it's that detrimental to this actual device. Usually, I don't let people that make comments disturb me in any way. Someone brought up the point of, Jay, you wear Affliction shirts. What do you know about aesthetics? Well, that's a simple answer, really. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is just to Google what aesthetics are. And then, also, when you're Googling it, you pull out the dictionary, read how it's spelt, because there's an actual A before the E. But to that I say this, it's real simple. It's just because what I like to wear, you may not like. It might be the same situation for what you're vaping on. I may look at that and be like, man, that's a piece of shit. But guess what? I don't judge it. The only time I judge it is when I'm doing a review. I don't walk up to you and tell you, listen, your thing's a hoopty. Just because you may like that device. Now, if you watch a video of mine and you don't like the outcome of my rating, First off, I don't even know how you found me. Second of all, my shirts are not $5. I could easily go out and go buy Hanes or Fruit of the Loom. Basic ass shirt with like little some shit on it. I could, but I choose to use this because they're comfortable. They feel nice on my body. Do I tell you to replace your wife because she's a fatty? No, I don't. You know why? Because you probably like holding her at night. I like holding my shirts. I'm married to the game, yo. Rep. I'm not going to give a rating for the tank, just because I've rated it before and we all know how I feel at this point. However, if you don't wanna watch that old video, I'm just gonna tell you right now, if I was to rate the tank that came with this on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a one or a 1.5, that low. Now the box mod on the other hand, I would probably give a seven to a 7.5. Even though I don't like the screen and how it looks on the inside, I love the outside of this, but I have to balance it out because it's as a starter kit. So if you wanna buy just the mod all by itself, absolutely I recommend it. As far as a starter kit is concerned, unless of course you wanna go out and go buy a different coil from a different company to get that tank to function well, I don't recommend you to buy the whole kit all by itself. 
buy just the box mod. If you don't know how the tank functions, you really want to know, contact one of your buddies that got a SIG kit and they don't use the tank. I'm sure there's a bunch of them. But at this point, I feel most people that get starter kits are legitimately using the sub ohm tanks because they've gotten that much better. The only issue is this has not gotten much better. It's the same tank with the same coil from the original SIG review that I've done a review on. So, as a kit, such a great mod with such a shitty tank, a four. That sucks too, man. I would really comfortably go 6.5 if that came with a mesh coil. Really, really nice box mod. Just a not so nice sub ohm tank. And I've kept it real. Have you? Affliction out.